Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at how you can upgrade the memory on your Mac. So whether you've got an old Mac that you want to give a little speed boost to, or you have a new Mac that came with the base amount of memory and you want to add more, you can add memory to any Mac yourself. Some Macs are easier than others, however. Let's take a look at where you can get memory and how you can figure out how to install it. Now you can go to Apple.com or an Apple Store and buy more memory there, but you usually pay top dollar. I've gone to third party websites in the past. There's a ton of them out there. So I'll just show you a few that I've used and ordered memory from. The first one is Crucial.com. And Crucial has at the very top a menu item for Mac memory and a system for finding out which memory you need according to which Mac that you have. Another site I've ordered from is the chipmerchant.com and they also have a special section for Apple memory and for quickly figuring out what type of memory you need. After you find out exactly the type of memory you need using one of these two sites, you can usually shop around for price. So you can go to Amazon.com for instance and look to see if anybody has the exact same memory there, even cheaper. Although I usually end up ordering from either Crucial or the Chip Merchant. Now, by getting third party memory, Apple always suspects that third party memory of any problem your Mac may have. So if you ever have any problems with your Mac in the future, the first thing you need to do is go in, remove the third party memory, see if you still have the problem, and then if you take it back to Apple for something, make sure you don't even mention that you have third party memory in it. Just show them the memory that came with the machine and you won't have any issues with your warranty. So now the question is, you've got new memory, how do you install it in your Mac? Well, first thing you want to do is check the web and you can actually check Apple's own website. I find a quick way to do this is do a Google site search, site colon apple.com and look for install memory. And you can see right away there's some links to official guides to how to install memory. For instance, the very first one is how to install memory in a MacBook Pro. And here you've got all sorts of information from Apple about how to do it. Now you can also search all over the internet for tutorials and even videos of people changing the memory in their Macs. You can usually find a video tutorial for your specific model. It's useful to watch these to gauge whether or not you think you can do it. There are some models that are just so easy, like for instance the Mac Pro. And there are other models like some of the MacBooks or the Mac Mini where you actually have to do quite a bit of work, maybe even get a tool or two before you try. Of course it's always good to have somebody local in your network of friends that knows how to change memory if you're shy about doing it. Invite them over, buy them lunch and have them install the memory for you. So by buying your own third party memory at one of these sites and installing yourself you're going to save a lot of money. As a matter of fact many times this is the difference between either installing more memory or not doing it at all. Of course the advantages of having more memory in your machine is more speed and responsiveness from your Mac. So it's usually something you do pretty cheaply. Sometimes some of these memory upgrades can be done for as little as $50. So you may want to look into it. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.